What's up, you two? Simply unlucky here. Welcome back to some more March Madness, where we're attempting to post a video every single day. And then I'll ask you guys to check out the channel and subscribe for some more epic Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. So before we get into this, guys, I wanted to apologize for not posting a video the last couple days, or is it, yeah, is it two days now? Um, UPS lost a package I purchased, which had the new star pack and a couple other epic items for some new videos for you guys. So... There's that, and uh, but yeah, so I'll have the star pack um, opening for you guys as soon as I can. But in the meantime, we're gonna open up some of the epic product that I planned to open in the later days. Um, but yeah, so hopefully that doesn't happen again because I've never had UPS lose the product I've purchased before. So it's very very interesting process. Uh, a little annoying, but uh, I guess it happens when you purchase product all the time. So. All right, you guys, so two Enemy of Justice. This pack is getting more and more awesome as time goes on. The ultimate rares in here, you guys, are going up and up. And some of you guys are like, Enemy of Justice, that was like one of the worst sets, wasn't it? Well, it was when you were just buying it to get some cards that were good in the current meta. But now that time has gone on, these cards that are in here are getting more and more valuable. And we're talking about Phoenix Enforcer and Shining Phoenix Enforcer. Both these cards, ultimate rare, have skyrocketed. And uh, I think they're easily like $30 each. So it's just like, these cards, Ultimate Rare First Edition, are very valuable. You also have Dreadmaster in here, which is one of the more powerful cards um, for the Destiny Heroes. And you have Destiny Hero Diamond, dude. Very rare to find that in good condition, First Edition Ultimate Rare. So these are First Edition packs, you guys. These are also from the Special Edition Strike of Neos, if you guys remember that. So we may be able to get more than just a couple Ultimate Rares in here, and that would be pretty awesome. We also have about 30 packs here. So we're going to do this in two parts. We're going to do 15 packs and then another 15 packs or 14 packs. But yeah, it's going to be freaking awesome, you guys. All right, here we go. And thanks to our friends at Ultra Pro, we have the epic Soft Touch playmat, you guys. It's very awesome. I, I really do love it. Maybe I'll use it for some more classic openings. I love the contrast with uh, some of these cool packs. And then uh, today I decided we'll bring back these Zelda sleeves. I really like these. So we'll see that for some of the cards here. They are standard size, but that's okay. All right, you guys, let's get started. 15 packs of first edition Enemy of Justice. Here we go. Heart of the cards, guide us. And you guys know the drill, classic cards. Let's take a whiff. Here we go. All right, so we have D-Shield, Swift Birdman Joe, Cyber Curing, Dimensional Fissure, this is the set where that came out of, and Clock Tower Prison, super rare. Nice starting strong with a foil card. These are all first edition cards, too. Jeez. Clock Tower Prison says here, put one clock counter on this card for each of your opponent's standby phases. When there are four or more clock counters on this card, the control of this card does not receive any battle damage. When this card with four or more clock counters is destroyed and sent to the grave, special summon one Destiny or Dreadmaster from your hand or deck. So that's how you get the Dreadmaster out. What time is it on the clock, by the way? I've always wondered. Is it 10 o'clock? I think it's 10 o'clock. So that's when Dreadmaster comes. All right, so we have Destiny Hero Doom Lord. Awesome classic cards. Raging Area, Celestial Transformation, and Elemental Hero Merit. Very nice. Sleeve up the Clock Tower Prison. Very beautiful. All right, you guys, next pack. Classic Enemy of Justice. It's been a long time since I've opened this set, you guys. Very cool. All right, Bountiful Artemis. I think this guy's pretty valuable, super rare, right? Um, from Champion Pack or something like that. While this card, maybe Dark Revelation 4. Uh, when this card is faced on the field, draw one card for from your deck each time a counter trap is activated. Pretty dang good card. Misfortune. Destiny Hero Doom Lord. Raging Area. Life Equalizer. And yeah, some other diamond dudes are rare, ultimate rare in this pack. And then there's like, oh, there's Herald of Green Light, Herald of Purple Lights in this deck too, or in this pack. And Emergency Call, E Emergency Call is in here, first edition. That's actually pretty valuable. Uh, Necroid Shaman, um, Cyber Gymnast, and Shattered Axe. So, oh, and this is the set where they first printed Icarus Attack. Also, if you guys were wondering. Okay, let's pack. Enemy of Justice. D-Shield. Guard Dog. O-Oversoul. Macrocosmos. 
Element Zero Wild Wingman, another very valuable ultimate rare card if we can get it. Um, but still, very nice to see this guy. First edition, super rare. Um, he says here, Elemental Hero Wild Heart and Elemental Hero Avian to make this guy. This monster cannot be special summoned except by fusions. By discarding one card from your hand, destroy one spell or trap card on the field. That is not once per turn. So you can destroy your Clock Tower Prison. Bountiful Armist, Searchlight Man. All one word, Searchlight Man. Uh, Mariner and Celestial Transformation. Okay, sleeve up. Wingman. Wild Wingman here. Two very classic cards there. Move these up. Very nice. All right. And it's not it's not a factory error pack. Those were awesome. Those dark beginning packs. I think I won over here. There we go. From dark beginning, those factory error packs. You guys should definitely check out that video if you have not. That was freaking incredible. Unbelievable. Incredible. All right. Whirlwind Weasel. Celestial Transformation, Shattered Axe, E Emergency Call again. I'll take as many of those as you want to give us. It's time for the D. <laughs> Very nice. Battery Man D, Battleful Armist, Misfortune, and Searchlight Man. It's bullet time. For misfortune. Okay. Let's see if we get some more foil cards. D Shield. At least I would hope, out of 30 packs, I would hope for two Ultimate Rares because that's the same ratio as a box, but we'll see. What we can get, like I said, these are from special editions. And another super rare, Majestic Mech Guru. Guru. Very nice. This card can normal summon. You can normal summon this card with one tribute, one mo by tributing one monster. If you normal summon it in this way, it's sent to the graveyard in the end phase. And then it has piercing effect. And then inflict the difference of battle damage to points life points. Yeah, so. And then it has piercing. The 2100 fairy that she could just summon by tributing one monster. Very interesting Shattered Axe. Whirlwind. Oh, Weasel. Well, at least we're getting some foil cards. That's nice. Very nice. That's really cool how they put these first edition packs in the Strike of Neos special editions. Royal Knight. Uh, Power Capsule. Storming Wind. Icarus Attack, finally. Another super rare. Oh, man. Super Electromagnetic Voltec Dragon. Very nice. Okay, four supers out of six packs. All right, and there's Icarus. Uh, very valuable card, or was very valuable. They reprinted it super rare, so that made the super price shoot down, but could have reprinted Ultra. Very cool, Super Electromagnetic Voltic Dragon. <laughs> um, if you tribute some of this card by tributing one of the following monsters, this card gets the appropriate effect. Battery Man D, to get the effects of a spell or trap cards that target this card. Uh, C, during the battle between this attacking monster defense, inflict piercing damage. AA, increase the attack of this card by 1,000 points. Very cool. Gymnast, Mariner, Necroid, Shaman, and Berryman D. Okay, well, I mean, if we get a whole bunch of super rares, I'm definitely not going to complain. That is awesome. These are all first edition mint cards. Okay, next pack. I mean... Out of GX boxes, you really only get six or seven foils, so the fact that we already have four, it's pretty nice. Guard Dog, O Oversoul, Macro Cosmos, Av uh, Avalanching Asa, Majestic Mech Oka. This guy was played quite a bit. Um, you can normal some of this card without tributing during the end phase, send it to the grave if you use that effect. So 2400 attack, six stars. So in the meantime, you could Synchro Summon or Exceed Summon it or. Do some crazy shenanigans with it. Oh, Righteous Justice, Raging Area, Shattered Axe, and the Gymnast. Somebody uses that. Is it Yugi? Uses that card in Duel Links? That's funny. Oh, no sleeve there. Okay, let's keep going. Can we get an Ultimate Rare? Come on. Heart of the Cards, guide us. Storming Wind. So you have the Charmers in here, too. That's pretty cool. Avalanching Asa, we just saw. Guard Dog, Power Capsule, Swift Birdman Geo, and Destruction of Destiny. I love all the Destiny cards. D time. Righteous Justice. Raging Area. So if you guys want to take quick looks at the Charmers here. And these are the 800 attack, 1500 versions. For most of them, it is tributing the same attribute of it. And then special summoning that same attribute from your hand. Yeah. So that's the same for all of them. 
Very cool. Storm of the Wind. Shattered Axe, the Cyber Gymnast. Okay. Don't want to open. The guard dog, he's guarding the epic cards in this packs. Power Capsule, Swift Birdman, Joe H. Heated Hearts, another destruction of destiny. What does it do? Send three cards from the top of your deck to the grave, and then take 1,000 points of damage for each spell or trap you sent to the graveyard by this effect. Meh. Ooh, another E-Emergency Call. That's nice. Bountiful Artemis, Misfortune. All right, you guys. About six packs left. Here we go. Got four super rare cards. Can we get another foil card for this part? Royal Knights, Power Capsule, Storming Wind, Icarus Attack, and Cyber Phoenix. Nice. Uh, five supers. Very cool. While this card's phase of attack position on your side of the field, negate the effects of spell or traps that target machine type monsters. When it's face up, attacks, or is attacked and is destroyed as a result of battle, you can draw one card from your deck. Cyber Phoenix. That card's pretty sweet, ultimate rare, also. Icarus Attack again. Got a area and a win. Awesome. Five supers. Very cool. Alright, you guys. Here we go. Come on. Ultimate rare. Believe in the heart of the cards. D Shield. Dimensional Fissure. Doesn't your captain tenacious. Guard penalty. I feel like I've pulled that ultimate rare like twice or three times. Cyber Tutu. Area. Weasel. Celestial. Transformation. Uh, Tenacious again. Recharge. Royal Knight. Majestic Mech Ahoka. Where's those Heralds? Uh, Mariner and Grand Convergence. Very powerful card. Activate only if Macrocosmos is on their side of the field. Flick 300 points of damage to your opponent's life points and destroy all monsters. Okay. Tenacious again. Layered the Liberator. Blazing Heat. We haven't got too many of her. Very cool. Fire. Guard penalty. Destiny signal. Grand Convergence. Our Righteous Justice. Two packs left, you guys. Come on. Dun 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 dun. Dun 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 dun. Cyber Kirin. Dimensional Fissure. Oh, baby! Another, or a first ultimate rare. Banisher of Light. Or Banisher of Radiance. That's a different card, Banisher of Light. Nice! We got an ultimate rare, though. Wow, that is pretty. That used to be actually a very valuable card back when Vanisher of Light was played in many different decks. Side deck against main decks that would use uh, Envoy the beginning. Light, dark, remove deck. But yeah, it's a really powerful card. And this is great. Fantastic. A ultimate rare mint condition, Vanisher of the Radiance. When this card is faced on the field, any card sent to the grave is removed instead. 1,603 stars, fairy. Wow, that is pretty. Alright. Wow. Doom Lord area, Celestial Transformation. Okay, five supers and an ultimate red. Nice first part. Very cool. So six foils out of 15 packs there. Alright, Kaiba. Give it to us. Last pack of Destiny. Come on, Kaiba! Macrocosmos, Blazing Heatsa, De Shield, ooh, and another Destruction. The last pack of Destiny, we got a Destruction of Destiny. Very cool. Macrocosmos, Dimensional Fissure, our Registrist Grand Convergence, and Majestic Mech Senku. Alright, wow. So definitely not bad. I love how we got like three of the same rare over here. And then doubles on two other ones. Okay. Very nice. All right, you guys, and please post in the comments below your experience with Enemy of Justice and uh, the different cards that you've gotten from this set and just if you remember playing when it first came out. That was back in the day. And yeah, very awesome, you guys. So stay tuned for part two uh, where we open up about 14 more first edition Enemy of Justice booster packs and hopefully we get some more super and ultra cards because we have five supers and ultimate this time, but maybe we can get one or two ultimates out of that next side. And simply... Oh, lucky signing out.